what is going on everybody out there in the youtube world first off happy father's day i was going to come live and do this but i didn't want to take away from anybody's time with either family with their father maybe their um stepfathers or they are a father and the list goes on and on down the road so I figured I'd open these up real quick before I head out to go grab me a steak for the grill to cook this afternoon. So, these were what's left. Uh, Tops Fives was sold out. Um, Jacob bought all that stuff up yesterday. And uh, we broke it in the Monster Den. So, there it will be no wax left on the site until this week. And I just happened to notice a lot of product got pushed coming up for this week. So we will only have Legacy Football and Mini Helmets. Um, I'll get those put in the store. I mean, those always come on time. But I won't release it until I have it here. And maybe we'll just come on Friday night and just chill and do some Mini, mini Helmets. Lamar Jackson, Kamara, Daryl Henderson, whoever collects these, make sure you hit pause right now so you can go use that code. Kid Reporter, just so you know. Again, hit pause, boom. Haven't done too well with these at all. Now, the hunt for Murray, Daniel Jones, Drew Locke. Kind of cool. Power formula is DeAndre Hopkins. I kind of like that card. I'll show you a recap here too in case you guys are really curious what Jacob hit in that finest box. But, um, or boxes. Nothing really spectacular. Uh oh, I think we got a pink coming up here. Tyler. I'll be ready, rookie. Be ready, rookie. Debo Samuel, yes. Too bad I heard he's out for a while. Gotta love the Debo. That's uh, Jamal Dean. Tell me that is not a mark one there. Optic is so hard this year. Man. Cannot win with Optic ever. Ever, ever, ever. What's on that case? I think I probably pulled something out of it or something. They meant to throw it in the trash, stuck it in the clean stack. There we go. Dak Prescott. Benny Snell Jr. Welcome to the snail train. Well, I think it's every card they print like this has the same mark. Hey, maybe when I go to Wally World today, uh, as we call it out here, otherwise known as Walmart. Maybe they'll have mosaic. <laughs> I doubt it. Bowman. Doubt it again. My Walmart's so trash out there. They never have anything anymore. Marcus Lawrence. Pink rookie Tyree Jackson. By Murphy. Oh, so I went to this card show yesterday. I guess the show started at... Uh, 10. I got there at 8.30 as everybody was setting up. This is in Lexington, Kentucky as well. It's normally held at the Armory. And when you get to the Armory, the gentlemen always let everybody in early, so you wanted to get there early so you could go through and try to get some good deals and some bargain bins and that. So as I get there, go inside, Hey, you know, you got to wear your mask and everything. So, luckily, had a mask on. 
go through this maze in this hotel, find the room, and there's like this big table, like it was up high. And it had these signs on it, hand sanitizer. Started reading, the gist is like basically adhere to social distancing. Then it said, oh, no more than two people per table. Keep six feet apart. Like, masks have to be worn. I don't know, some other stuff. So, oh, no more than 50 people in a room. So I was trying to gauge how many people were in the room to see if I could go in there because I brought stuff for some of the guys set up in there. Well, the guy who runs the show, he comes walking over to me and he's like, can I help you? I'm like, Oh, that's weird. You know who I am. I've set up here. I've been here before. Uh, Armstead. So, I was like, yeah, I'm just here. I, I'm going to walk around and do some shopping. And he said, oh, no, we don't open at 10 o'clock. And he, like, started spazzing out on me. And he started looking at his watch. He's like, it's it's 8.30. You're here way too early. I'm like, well, every time you held one at the armory, you know... People had to show up early in order to get, you know, good deals. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. And I'm like, all right. And I said, well, how come? And there were people in there buying. And they were uh, people that owned shops in Louisville and stuff like that. Select clientele. And I'm doing air quotes as I say that. So I brought that up. And he didn't really like it at all. And I said, well, I got stuff for these guys, so I'm bringing it in. He's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, all right, so we, I went in the parking lot afterwards. Oh, I, I also told the guy, I'm like, you realize I drove an hour and a half to be here. I'm not waiting an hour and a half for a show to start where people are already in buying. That's kind of pointless. If, if the guy could have been like, hey, man, I'm really sorry, but we changed, you know, our policies. We're not going to start it till 10 due to COVID-19. There's a Denny's across the road. Why don't you go get some breakfast and then come back over in like an hour and I'll try to get you in a little bit early since you were here and made a drive. Nothing like that. The most ignorant man I have ever met that runs a show. But see, he's not set up. He's there to collect money from vendors for tables. He doesn't even sell baseball cards. Well, anyhow, I left after I gave everybody what they wanted from the store and stuff like that and i found out the reason the gentleman was so upset well he never told his vendors they needed to bring masks he makes it a policy paris campbell rookie and oh here's your code remember that's a uh, kid reporter and people showed up their vendors didn't have masks what kind of show host are you if you're not going to at least have masks there if you didn't tell people this on the phone? So they left. They said, you know what? Bye. I'm leaving. You didn't tell me this. You ain't getting paid. So he had blank tables in there. Now, I did over here, <laughs> the people that came in early, you know, to buy, like me, um, I, I heard that they gave him money for those blank tables so he didn't lose out. That's why they were a lot in there early. Don't know if it's true. Don't really matter to me. But I will never, ever go back to the Lexington, Kentucky show again for the way that I was treated by some ignorant person. I mean, straight up ignorant and rude. You should learn customer service before you try to offer services to people because, sorry, I don't care if you had a bad day or not. You will never, ever see me. That's a nice Mahomes right there. I like these. My little cloth ago, but you'll never, ever, ever see me again at it. I mean, to sit there and act the way he did, I don't care you had vendors didn't show up because you didn't tell them that they had to have a mask. I was there, and this is no joke, and I usually don't discuss what I have, but I had $1,500 cash in my pocket. So that I could uh, find some deals and like try to restock the store up with a bunch of like jerseys, autos, stuff like that. You know, nothing crazy, you know, anywhere from, you know, dollar cards to maybe $50, $60 cards in there. Maybe something big, never know what you see. But I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. Yep, I will never ever go to it again. So, hey, you guys go to Lexington's card show. I mean, to buy. Never show up before 10 now because the guy 
I don't know, had a bad day, didn't eat his Wheaties. I don't know. Lost some money on some tables. Because see, the armory he gets at all <laughs> dirt cheap. He had to pay for the hotel. You know the struggle of what it's like to run a real show and have to pay all that money, money, money. But yeah, this guy will never go back. I was going to do a video about it yesterday, but I made some comments yesterday. I got kicked out of a card show, and I at least want to explain why I'm opening something up. Matt Stafford. Now Clay Thorson, Clayton Thorson, Brian Burns. We are not doing good in this Father's Day rip. Have I lost my golden touch? Deshaun Watson. Mark Ingram be somebody good. Hunter Renfro. We're moving up in the world with a Renfro. Oh, there was one of these in the back. Sorry. Bye bye him. Kid reporter, pause yourself. Go fill out. Put in for your kid. And yes, actually, people used to grab those codes and do those for their kid all the time. When I used to open up the product like crazy, crazy, I used to say, I'm going to flash it for five seconds. You better hit pause or something on the live stream because I'm not holding here long. And people used to go through there and take them. Oh, there's a nice TJ Watt. That boy's a beast. Jared Goff. It's a Lion Johnson Jr. I, I knew it. You were going to come haunt me, buddy. Only Ultra Pro <laughs> has top loaded brick together. Worse than a batch of Fleer Ultra from 1994 in the sun. Gaskin. Some people like Gaskin. I just, I don't know. I just never really heard of them unless there's some big Dolphin fan out there. Kelsey. Cousins. Can our refractor be... The famous Mike Evans for Tampa Bay Bucks. Jonathan Abram. I forget when he was drafted what round now. I figured my oh nope. Nope, don't say. I just know the name from something. Probably one of my Raiders fans. But Oh, weird look at the bottom. We got a few more things. I got to add this stuff to the store today. And I got to do eBay auctions. Hey, guys, the form is pretty much done for um, consigning with me. I got to have them just make a few mod modifications to it today. I'm going to write that up before I go uh, to Wally World and go shopping, shopping. Oh, I meant to show you guys what was in the finest break for Jacob yesterday. The video is kind of quick, but I just show it here. I haven't put it on YouTube. Demoridi. Seth Brown. Zach Collins. Carrasco Blue. Dub Dubin. Gold Cabin Biggio. Oops, I had these already team bag, that's why. So, Luis Robert. Kyle Lewis, Bichette, Dustin May, Aquino, Aquino, Bregman out 250, Lux, Real Muto out of 150, Acuna out of 150, Freddie Freeman out of 99. What do you know? You pulled me that same Freddie Freeman out of 99, Jacob. Or did you just like magically teleport that here? Lewis Rookie, the man Harper, Luis Robert, Juan Soto the man, Alvarez, Aquino, Aquino the man, Alvarez the man, Luis Robert the man. But yeah, he picked up all three boxes of this stuff. But I will see you all later on today when I come live, live, live for the giveaway. Don't forget, 
Two different giveaways. One ends tonight. When that clock hits midnight Eastern Standard Time, uh, all you got to do is buy stuff from the story. $5 gets you an entry into the Trey Young Prism Beckett uh, Re Raw Review 9.5. Also, we got the other box of those blasters. So, you've seen I haven't pulled Drew Locke or Kyler Murray or Daniel Jones. May the luck be with you on your box. And I can't open it live if you are here. Get a case up, sent out, and all that good stuff. Other than that, I will catch you all later. For everybody out there celebrating Father's Day, have a happy Father's Day, a good day with family, friends, and stay safe out there. And I'll see you all later on tonight. Take care.